Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. In this session, we are doing seated Pilates with a block. So you won't need any space to lie down, you just need enough, place, enough space to sit on your mat or on the floor and a block. And in fact, we're gonna start sitting right up on top of the block. So I want you to sit onto it, feel both of your sits bones pressing down and open your legs out to the sides. And this is how we're gonna start with breathing. So I want you to take in a really nice deep breath from this seated position, inhaling and then exhaling. Do that a few times. Try to feel that your body can calm down and settle into the space. And if you don't have a block or if you don't want to use one or if it's uncomfortable like this, just feel free to sit on the floor or sit on your mat. Continuing with your breath now, I want you to look for a sense of surrender. So any place where you are feeling tension, maybe in your hips or your shoulders, try to feel that you sink and surrender down a little bit. And then I want you to take one hand out to the side, doesn't matter which one, just let it crawl along the mat a little bit, setting your palm down, and shorten the side that's closest to your arm. And then returning yourself back up, same thing, other side. Palm comes down, crawl it along, reaching, shorten. Other arm is just down by your side. And we'll do one more on either side. Crawling along, shortening, breathing, and release. And then other side. So one side will lengthen, this side underneath shortens. Very good. Then back to seated, take your hands up behind your head. On your exhale, collect your ribs, fold over to one side. There's that shortening again. Back to the center, fold over to the other side. And this becomes a little bit of a balance challenge as well. Press your head into your hands, lengthening up the back of your neck, and then shortening and lengthening on opposing sides of your trunk. And then bringing your arms down, take them both at the sides, and now you crawl along one side, reaching, and then back and to the other side, kind of like a little bit of a combo. And by now, you're looking for that bit of lateral flexion, almost like a little bit of a stretch down your side. Very good. And then coming up, give your shoulders a little roll out, and you can pop yourself down off the block. Put the block to one side and switch your legs to your zip-zip position. We're gonna continue on with the lateral flexion. So your side, the block is to the side that your knees are going in, that same direction. Put your hand up onto the block and then reach your other arm out to the side. Pushing down to the block, reaching your arm at the same time and then lower. Press down and reach. This is about lengthening through your spine. One more time, just like that. Pushing into the block, reaching with your other arm, bringing yourself down. Then transitioning to your forearm, pressing down. Push your forearm into the block as you fold over. And then reach that arm back like we had a second ago. Push down to the block, fold over. Lateral flexion, feel the folding and the lengthening in all position. And then returning one more time. Very good, bring yourself up, come all the way down onto that palm, reach yourself up. There's a beautiful space and stretch down that side. And then coming up, take both hands onto the block, rotate in that direction. Now this back, bottom cheek, back hip will come off a little bit. That's fine, open your collarbones as much as you can, opening around. And then pick the block up, rotate yourself all the way around the other direction as close as you can. Bring yourself back, set the block down. Inhale, extend. And then pick the block up, rotate around. One more time. Combining this extension and rotation. Inhaling deeply. And then releasing, bring yourself all the way around. Pause in the middle now, holding onto the block. Inhale to prepare, exhale, squeeze into it. Inhale, release. Now the block isn't getting squeezed anywhere. It is, of course, thick and firm. 
but when you press into it, feel contraction across the front, not elevation up. Exhale, press in, lengthen up tall. Inhale, release. Two more of those. Really allowing this isometric work. Last one. Very good. Then set the block down onto the other side. Switch your legs over. So now you will be in your Z sit in the opposite direction. First, palm is on the block. Reach your other arm out. Push in the block and reach. And then release. Push down to the block. Reach and lengthen up tall. And release. Exhale as you lengthen. Collect your ribs. Breathing. Very good, then onto your forearm. Press down into your forearm, reach the other arm up. Try to find both bottom cheeks sitting on the mat and then lengthen your arm out to the side. Lifting back up, shoulders are soft. Push down into the floor with your forearm. And then over, last time. Exhale, collect, draw in and reach. Very good, then coming all the way up, bring your palm down and nice bit of counter work to the other side. Then bring yourself up and around, come into your extension, open, breathe, push in the block and then pick it up and we're gonna rotate all the way around and return. Setting it down onto the mat, inhale, extend, and then release, picking it up. And remember, if you don't have a block, you can just do all of this. Imagine you have a block just with your arms slash hands. Bring yourself back, pushing it down, extending open. Last time rotating around. And then when you are facing forward, extend your arms out straight without any shortening at the front. And then between your palms with the block, exhale, press into it. Inhale, release. Try to sit up tall, pressing in with control and releasing with control. And notice if you have any other tension somewhere else, can you let that go and just breathe into this space? Looking for one little bit of extra length through your body. Last one here. And then keep holding on the block like that. You're going to transition around and sit onto the mat. Knees bent, coming through a little bit of ab work. So holding onto the block at the front, tuck your tab on under, flex through your spine, bring yourself back, and then return upright. So I'm holding onto the block, pushing in not super hard, but enough that it gives you a little bit of work along the front of your chest, through your pecs, but also that it gives you that feedback to try to keep the space and not collapse through your thoracic spine as you come down. So this is lower ab work. Draw your belly in, tucking your tailbone under, really feel those lower abs starting to do the work. Three more here. Coming down on an exhale. Inhale, return, last two. Last one. Coming up, then this time you're going to come down and hold. Bring the block towards you. Exhale, press and release. Just like we did a little while ago. Exhaling, pushing in. Ribs together. Belly engaging. Keep with your breathing. Three more. Two. Last one. Excellent. Bring yourself up. Well done. Now place the block down and it's gonna go between your uh, ankles. Lengthen out your legs, arms to the sides, hands to the sides, and then on your inhale, extend open, and then release. Do that a couple times and then we'll play with the block. This nice bit of counter extension to that flexion that we were doing one more time. Very good, then choose a side to start on. Take your arm out in front, reach for the block, other arm space behind, and then bring it back and switch. And as you reach, try to flex through your spine and rotate. And the arm that's on the floor 
can do some pushing into the floor. If you don't have the block, just imagine you're trying to reach for your toes. Now stay doing it like this if you wish, or come along for the progression. Now your hand is no longer on the floor. Both hands come up behind your head. Rotate and reach, and return. Exhale, reach, and return. Reset tall in between. Nice bit of rotation, ab work, breathing. Very good, one more time on either side. Getting all movements of the spine today. Yes, very good. Then bringing your hands forward, pick up the block. Back to bent knees, holding the block in a single hand. On your exhale, you're gonna rotate down and then return, keep it in that hand. Draw your belly in. So now we're having the flexion and the rotation, ab work, and really imagine this block is heavy, so you're working to hold it up. Gives you that little bit of extra work from your core. Always breathing, three more. Two. Last one. Then take the block between your knees. Coming down now onto your forearms. On your exhale, squeeze into the block. Inhale, release. So for now, keep your feet onto the floor, but imagine there's something underneath your back. So you're not slouching here. Nice space across your collarbones. And as you exhale, you're looking for this happening between your, in your inner thighs. So really get that pelvic floor connection, deep core working. Now if this is enough for you to stay here just like this, the progression or the challenge, lift your legs up, exhale, same thing, press into the block. So now it becomes far more work for your abdominals. Try not to let this slouch down here. Think about the space and the opening. Five more of your chosen variation. Four, three, two, last one. Excellent, bring yourself up. Take the block into your other hand for rotation. Exhale, rotating down and inhale, return. Breathing, deepening, finding that control. Wherever you hold your tension, or you tend to hold your tension, think about breathing into that space so you can have some more awareness around that. Three more here. Two. Last one, and then just like before, block now comes between your knees, onto your palms, lengthen up tall, exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Start here, ribs together on each exhale, shoulders are softened, then come through for the progression if you wish. So to progress, you lift your bottom up, but you continue with the squeezing. Each exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, release. Remember, you don't have to do the progressions. If they're too much, don't feel good, then stay in the previous version, or just have a little break. You're almost there, you're doing a great job. Let's go for five, four, exhale, squeeze, three. Inhale, release, two. Last one, excellent, very good. Bring yourself down. Take the block into one hand, doesn't matter which one. And then you're gonna reach forward and return. Two with it in that hand, then over the other side. Exhale, flex and reach and return and reach and return. Then put the block behind you, bring yourself around. Coming down onto your palms, your feet or your toes rather, go up onto the block. Neutral spine. On your exhale, lift your knees off the mat. Inhale, lower. Now, if you don't have a block, then you can just do this with your toes on the floor. Totally fine. We're starting to get a little bit of ab work happening here from the lift, but I want you to really focus on neutral spine. So none of this rounded or dumping into your lower back. Think about the length and the space. Breathing. 
three, two, last one, lowering down. Now you transition the block over just to one side. So one foot will be underneath. As you're ready, on your exhale, lifting up. The foot stays on the block. The other one, lift. Bring it forward and back. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, last one. Lower down. Block transitions back to the middle. This time you're going to put it between your feet or your toes, big toes. Knees stay on the mat. Lift up. And lower. So now you're just flexing at your knees, trying to hold the block steady. Adding on here, lift, point your toes, bring them back, and lower. Lift, point, flex, and lower. A little bit of ankle work in here, really important for balance for functional movement like walking. Breathe through all the movements. Last one here. Then set the block down, move it to the other side now so your other foot is underneath, or is on top I should say, blocks underneath. Then as you're ready, length lifting up, lift the leg forward and back. Keep breathing. Find the connection, four more, three, two, last one. Excellent, lower yourself down. Take the block now up from underneath your foot and you're gonna bring it forward so you can have both of your forearms onto it. Press your forearms down into the block and then press your bottom back towards your heels. And then bring yourself forward, coming forward further in the block and back. Just moving through that hovering action a little bit. Now, if it feels good for you and you would like to come into a little bit of extension here, you can do that. If you would rather just keep neutral like we've been doing, you can do that. And then I want you to pause a little bit forward of the block. Lift one forearm, lower, other forearm, lower. Now this requires a little bit of your shoulder stability. Breathe into that, look for that stability. And then leave both of them down, palms now come up onto the block, lengthening yourself out. Breathe through, depress your shoulders and let them release. So this is a subtle movement. I'm actually pushing down this way into the block, like driving it towards my knees. And it gives you a little bit of ab work and isometric strengthening into your shoulders. Let's do three more. Two. Last one. Now leave your palms there. Keep your toes tucked underneath. Lift your knees up. Breathe here. One toe off and then lift back and forth, just like you're kind of marching on the spot. And if this gets too much at any time, have a break. And remember, you can also do it with your palms just straight on the floor. Almost there. Four more. Three. Two. The last one. Excellent. Very good. Drop your knees down and then take them wide and you can press yourself back into your child's pose. Nice little bit of work there. And then come up through your extension, drag the block along, open up. And then push it back out. Do that one more time, drag it along, extending open. And then back. This time bring yourself up. And you can come all the way up back to sitting on your block. Once you're sitting up there, take a second, give your shoulders a little roll out, and then take it a really nice deep breath and let it out. And I want you to just allow yourself 
to sit here in this space, in your body, in your mind. And as you're there, acknowledge that you have shown up to do this work. It may be something a little bit different or new compared to what you usually do or what you've done before. Give yourself the credit for doing that, getting uncomfortable, trying something new. Well done. Thank you so much for being here and doing it with me. And I hope to see you again soon.